this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I personally went from double knee surgeries to squatting pain-free, being able to live my best life and not have my body hold me back from anything. You are gonna to wanna to watch this video if you're somebody with knee pain right now or really just pain in your body at all and you wanna be able to get back to the things that you love, be able to train without pain and be able to have a body that can do anything you feel like you're called to do. So with that being said, what I'm gonna be sharing inside of this video is not gonna be a magic pill that you can use to be able to get out of pain in the body. It's not gonna be, uh, you know, plug in your money and it automatically gets a magic transformation. That's just not how this works. You know, to share a little bit of my own story, I've had double knee surgeries myself, had to relearn how to walk two different times. My second one was in 2018. My first one was in 2016. And a lot of things I'm gonna be talking about here today, it took me like five or six years after my first knee surgery to actually understand. And I had to you know, take a lot of different things into, into play in this, mindset, uh, training, diet, all of it. So there's not just one part of this equation to where if you just go start applying it right away, it's gonna you know, completely transform your body. It really takes uh, the three primary pillars that I'll be sharing with you guys here today for you to be able to receive an awesome transformation. So make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some ways that I can help you to be able to get out of pain. So don't skip through, watch the entire video and pick up all the gold nuggets throughout the way. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a piece of pen and paper, something to be able to take notes so that way you can get the most out of this experience. So just a quick explanation for you guys. This video is for the person who is ready to put in the work on their training, right? This is not for somebody who is like not really that motivated to get out of pain. This video and what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is not for somebody who just wants the easy route. This isn't for somebody who's unwilling to, you know, go into the heart, go into the mind to make a massive transformation. What I've found is that, you know, the stuff I'm, I'm gonna be talking about here today is really for a guy who is, you know, probably feels a little too young to be experiencing as much pain as they're currently experiencing right now, right? This video is for the guy who, you know, probably had knee pain or lower back pain back in a, as a teenager um, or even in your early 20s. And you're just like, man, this is not something that somebody my age should be experiencing. You're looking for a solution to be able to get out of that. If you're somebody who gets a little bit uh, maybe frustrated or your mind shuts off at the woo-woo or faith-based stuff. I'm personally a Christian and I'll be sharing, um, you know, a lot of different faith-based principles inside of this video that helped me personally as I'm just sharing my testimony and what's helped me and what I use to be able to help out my clients as well too as a health coach and personal trainer. But if your brain starts to shut off um, whenever I talk about prayer or mindset, this probably is not the video for you. Um, and you're not somebody, it's going to help because that is a huge, huge piece in the system that helped me out. Um, if you're somebody who is scared to try out new ways of working out, this video isn't for you. If you think that your knees should not go over your toes, uh, then this video is not for you. If you are scared to try out something, um, you know, a little different in your diet, such as fasting, you know, going a couple days without food, um, you know, only drinking water and, and really going into a, um, you know, a place where, where you're going to have a lot of hard conversations in your mind. Uh, this is not for you. You know, this is not a, an easy one fix all. But what I have found is if you're a guy, let's say you're under 40, um, you're a Christian or at least Christian values don't scare you in conversation. Uh, you know, you, let's say you probably make pretty good money already. Uh, but you just find out that, man, this knee pain is not leaving. Like I'm investing in uh, maybe $50 a month uh, programs or, um, you know, physical therapy or I've gotten surgeries and nothing's working. Uh, this video I highly recommend is for you to be able to fix that up. Um, maybe you're, you know, a couple pounds overweight and you want to drop some belly fat at the same time or throughout this journey, put on a little bit of muscle size as well, too. Uh, this video will talk you through how to be able to do that. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you're just wanting to squat without pain, full depth, full range of motion, uh, like I can do now, but I couldn't do after my first and my second knee surgery, 
this video is gonna be a powerful, powerful tool to be able to help you out. And I just wanna say, um, I totally understand if you're a little bit suspicious right now on, on what I'm talking about, especially if, you know, after my first couple knee surgeries, somebody told me that we were gonna talk about prayer and mindset, I'd be like, you're stupid. It probably works, but like, there's gotta be some gimmick or you gotta sit on top of a mountain for 10 years to be able to understand it. And uh, it's just not, not for me. But I can really say guys, you know, um, it is 2016 to now 2024, eight years since my first knee surgery. And really going through and applying a lot of what we're talking about here with mindset, with diet and fasting, and with my, my exercise, a lot of this has been a, a mental transformation that if I was just to do the workouts, wouldn't have happened. So I just wanna you know, acknowledge you if you're like, man, this mindset stuff's a little bit weird. I'm trying to find the perfect workout routine. Um, that's totally normal. I was the same way, um, especially it makes me think of one of, my, um, one of my clients, Benji, who I work with. Uh, the guy has been working with me for five or six months now. Um, he's in middle management at a, in an HVAC company, uh, works crazy hours, has two kids, married, and uh, you know, just um, four, no, five or six months ago, uh, he's already dropped 40 pounds since then, working through a lot of this stuff. His knee pain has basically all but disappeared, right? A couple other things have come up for him, like with some ankles and, and wrists, but what's cool is we're able to deal with that using the same principles that's happening now. He's able to move his body, feel really good. When we first started working together, he wanted to be able to um, get back into snowboarding right? And not have any pain. So his knees have gotten a lot, a lot better applying a lot of this stuff. And, and he lives, you know, a few states away from me over in Colorado. And I've been able to help him online uh, throughout this, uh, you know, use, utilizing some of these principles here. Another example will be a client of mine, Adam. Uh, he is crushing it. He came in because he wanted to start running a little bit more and he was having some knee pain. And uh, we started implementing a lot of the exercise stuff in here specifically. And and now he's able to run, feel really good. He's crushing it. Another client of mine, David, came in with lower back pain and we applied a lot of this stuff that we're gonna talk about here today. He's crushing it, feeling really good. Um, I have another client of mine, David. Uh, he's a father, uh, multiple kids, married, uh, came in. We worked together for about six months. He dropped 30, 40 pounds. And in his 40s, he's able to move and feel his absolute best inside of his body my own experience at the age of 27 now. I'm eight years after my first knee surgery and I'm squatting 360 pounds uh, all the way to the ground with full range of motion and I don't have any pain when I do it. Uh, I ran a half marathon a couple years back. I'm able to grab rim on a basketball hoop and I'm able to pick up my wife and, and grab her and, and take her up and down the stairs at my house without any sort of knee pain lower back pain or anything. I can pick up my nieces and nephews and, and throw them around and have some fun and not have to worry about being the broken uncle, right? I can be the guy who can do all of this. And I can show my clients, you know, when I work with uh, athletes over here in Dallas, whether it be basketball athletes, volleyball athletes, martial arts, um, I can show them all these movements. I can back up, you know, what's going on and what's happening here with my own testimony and my own story. So hope that those, uh, you know, a little bit of story some other people who, who've gone ahead of you to be able to get out of pain uh, motivates you and inspires you to dig into what we're going to be talking about today so with that being said let's go ahead and start uh, with the very beginning on these three pillars so with this a, a quick introduction the three things i'm going to talk with you guys today here about is number one is going to be mindset and vision number two is going to be fasting and diet and number three is going to be training Okay, so what makes this system different is it wasn't just a, I started implementing these exercises and my body got better. What actually happened for me is about like six years ago or so, 2018-ish, uh, I really was at a dark place in my life. Um, I just moved from Oregon over to uh, Texas to be close to my family. Just had my second knee surgery, so I'm crippled. I can't really move around the way that I want to. My identity was as a football player and as a personal trainer. And so when my, um, my athleticism was taken from me after the second knee surgery, it wasn't very fun. This was from a genetic condition due to osteochondritis desiccans is what the doctor told me I had. And I said I need a surgery every like three to five years if I wanted to clean up my knee. And it just kind of broke my heart, to be honest. And, and I was really depressed at this time. 
Um, I moved across the country, and when I did move across the country, my car broke down. Um, I didn't have a job. I had no friends. My best friend was my 10-year-old nephew, and I'm, I'm a 21-year-old uh, young man. And uh, life was just hard at this time, guys. I'll, I'll be totally honest. It was not a time that you would have wanted to know Patrick Bell. I wasn't like, uh, I, I just wasn't, was not in a good place at all. And uh, at that time, I met a man named Jesus, and he really transformed my whole life. Um, within the span of becoming a Christian at that time and just saying, hey, I just want to let God like have a part in my life. I don't know who this Jesus guy is. Everybody says he's, he's cool, so I'm going to form a friendship with him, and I guess I'll you know, give my life over to him. And within the span of about three or four months um, from doing this, I got prayed over and all of my knee pain disappeared for the first time ever in my life. Um, I gave up a pornography addiction that I'd had from the age of six to like 21, 22 years old. Um, I also had like $2,000 magically appear in my bank account, um, which changed my entire life and helped me to meet my wife, who uh, <laughs> I met just a few months after all these changes happened. So I say all that to say that uh, I'm not going to be able to share just like on training or just on diet here, because what makes this system different is a lot of this is going to be a, um, a heart posture shift. It's going to be a, you have to have faith, right? And trust that there's a God out there, whether you call him Jesus or not. I don't, I don't care what that is for you. I've got my own beliefs on, on where I stand in that conversation, but you have to believe that you're not somebody who was made to live in pain your entire life. You're not somebody who was made to have surgeries over and over, but you were actually made by design to be healthy, to be strong. And there's a vision for you in this world where you are pain-free. There's a version of the timeline that, that God made for you to where you are actually strong, confident in your body. You can squat to full range of motion. You can do all of this and not have any issues, right? So that's what makes a lot of this different is we're going to be bringing in a lot of that mindset piece. So Pillar number one for mindset and vision, what helped me to be able to go from double knee surgeries to being able to squat you know, 360 pounds, continuing to get stronger uh, each and every single month and adding weight on there until I can reach 440 for a nice pause squat is the goal, uh, is number one is I had, I had to have a vision that I was going to get better. And what do I mean by that? I mean, when I close my eyes and I just say, man, what do I want my life to be? Right? And just like a prayer for you guys right now going through this too. Lord, I just pray that you show the people watching here today the version of their life where they are pain-free, they've conquered their body, and they have taken dominion over all injuries, illness, and disease. Show them the version of them that has conquered their body. And so I would sit in that prayer I would just say, what does my life look like when I've conquered my body? By the way, if you guys don't know, <laughs> I'm a published author as well too. Conquer Your Body, Biblical Principles for Taking Control of Your Health. First book up on Amazon. You can look it up. Patrick Bell, Conquer Your Body if you want to dig in a little bit more of this mindset stuff. But I would just look at this and say, okay, what does my life actually look like pain-free? Because for the longest time, when I was in the middle of those knee surgeries, I never imagined myself actually being pain-free. Have you, think about this for a second, okay? Um, I was talking with somebody who owns a business at one point, and the business that they have, they are needing lots of capital to make big, amazing things happen. And, you know, at least $10 million, right? To, to have the impact they're talking about. And they were talking at one point in the planning process, and they were like, huh, I don't think I've ever actually imagined myself having over a million dollars. And that's a big reason why they didn't have all the money that they needed for their business to do amazing things in this world right now. They realized in that moment, I'd only ever pictured myself having a couple thousand dollars in my bank account. Like, what would it actually be like to have $10 million of liquid cash sitting in my bank account? And so I'd, I'd ask you guys the same thing on what would it look like to actually have athletic ability and to be pain-free? Think about that for a moment. Whatever comes up for you, take a moment to write that down. 
Maybe you're, you know, playing basketball without paying, you know, spiking volleyballs down on the sand court. Maybe you're, you're like my client Benji, you're going to go snowboarding, you know, you go longboarding or whatever it might be, whatever your favorite thing is. What is that actually going to look like? Because here's the deal. If you don't have a vision for where you're going, one of my favorite scriptures is Habakkuk, or not Habakkuk, but Hebrews 11.1. 1, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things yet unseen. You have to have faith in something that you can't see right now. When I was in pain after my second knee surgery, I had to be able to envision myself actually walking without pain, right? I had to be able to envision myself actually getting back to squatting and the things that I loved as a football player, as an athlete, powerlifting, um, personal trainer, and be able to do it pain-free. If I didn't have that picture, every time I would get under a bar, the doubts would start to come in. Because when you've had knee surgeries or you've had knee injuries, there's going to be a voice that tries to speak to you. There's going to be a voice that comes in and tries to say, you're always going to be in pain. Or what's the point in starting this new routine? Your knees are just going to be jacked up for the rest of your life. Or I bet you're going to hurt yourself if you try that. Or you're making too slow of progress. You should just give up. And when these voices come up, you have to be able to look at them with full authenticity and belief and say, why would I believe a lie when God has shown me better? Why would I ever believe a lie that my body is going to be broken down forever when God said that you have dominion over all illnesses and disease, Matthew 10, 1. To cast out all illness is something that I have the ability to do. You can go look at Joe Dispenza, right? For, for a non-Christian example, this man cured himself of paralysis just using his mind. So you can't walk into this saying, oh, maybe it'll work. Maybe I'll get better. No, you have to have full ironclad belief that your body is healing itself. Your body is your friend, guys. It's time we learn to love our bodies the way that God loves us. And you don't have a God over you who, you know, hates you and, and uh, wants your body broken down. You were made by somebody who loves you right? And that design you have for your life, it's not to be crippled. It's not to be broken. It's made to be strong and victorious. So we have to have that perspective. Why would I believe a lie when I've been shown better? And so with this, as you keep your mind sharp, as you grab onto this vision, draw a picture if you need to. I've got a, I have a picture on my fridge uh, of me squatting 440 pounds. Uh, it's, it's on my fridge, right? Like that is literally, I drew it. It looks like a kid's drawing, but I look at that every day and I know it's going to happen. There's no doubt in my heart. So whatever that looks like for you, grab a journal, you know, um, draw with, with, uh, with colors, whatever it might be, but, but figure out this, this concept of, of what's the vision for where you're going. Habakkuk 2.2 says, write the vision down and make it plain so that he who sees it may run with it. I love Jeremiah 33.3 where it's basically, I'm paraphrasing here, it's saying, hey, ask God the deep and secret things. And he will show you the answers. So you can ask any question in prayer, in vision time, in formulation, and you're going to get an answer. So you got to believe that. No longer believe you're broken, but believe that you're victorious. So that's step number one, mindset. So when I work with clients one-on-one -on -one in this or in some of my programs, we dig into this a lot, a lot, a lot, because it's very individual for every single person. But that's an initial framework for how I got out of pain. I started picturing it, and every day when I started training, if pain would come up, I'd say, I'm not believing that lie. I don't care if there's pain in the atmosphere right now, I'm moving forward towards healing. And I would take a look at what is this knee pain trying to teach me right now? Is it maybe I'm having a hard time changing directions in my life, like the knees are responsible for an athletic performance? Maybe it's I'm doubting myself and my abilities right now, so the old version of myself is trying to creep up in a new season where he no longer is valid anymore, right? The old me that was anxious, that was doubtful, that was worried, doesn't belong here anymore, but he's trying to creep up into this new life that I'm creating right now. So this pain is not really even physically here. You can't prove the pain is there, but it's showing up over and over and over. So there's a lesson inside of that that you need to learn, right? Maybe it's something to do with your career, your family, your passions, whatever it might be. But oftentimes the knee pain is not just knee pain. There's a lesson that we need to learn in that. And once you learn the lesson, the injury disappears, right? The lower back often has a lot of lessons to do with our identity 
and not having a firmness in the identity. The, um, the ankles represent stability, right? Maybe you're not feeling financially stable, emotionally stable, uh, physically stable at this moment in time. Oftentimes injuries in the elbows and shoulders have to do with taking action from the heart, right? If you think about the hands, they're always reaching, taking action, right? The shoulders, the upper body, when injuries start to come in there has more so to do with an overuse of action because that's what our arms are always used for all the time. So there's different lessons inside all of these. The neck, right? The neck pain, you know, it can often be a sign of, of constantly looking back to the past, uh, to a version of you that you no longer are and you no longer need to be instead of looking to the future for where you're called to go. So every single injury, there's a lesson in. Every womb is a wound or every wound has a womb. Uh, Elliot Hulse talks about this and I love that. So mindset has to be sharp. Number two, the second principle is going to be fasting. All right, it's a little bit different, but the way I like to frame this is, for me personally, I started getting into extended fasting, so going a full day without food, maybe two days, maybe three days without food, because I wanted to get a little bit leaner. But then I started to experience how my mind would be sharper and clearer these things that I'm talking about here at the mindset stuff, I'd be able to actually visualize much better when I was in a fasted place. I'd get these visions and these glimpses of where my life is supposed to go. And I would feel my discipline rising. I would feel my uh, self-control rising. And also experience a ton of different health benefits like reduced inflammation. So my joints wouldn't hurt as bad. My skin would look better. I would have more energy. I would be leaner as well too. I'd be strong. My muscle would be spared from the fasting. Even though a lot of people think you'll lose your muscle if you fast, that's not the case. And just experiencing a ton, a ton of different benefits from this. And so I realized that this is a powerful tool for where I'm trying to go, which is to be pain-free. When I would go in and enter into a fast a day or two without food, I would start to realize that, oh man, when I was eating a bunch of cheeseburgers, um, water burger, right? Uh, soda, sugary stuff. And, and there's nothing wrong with sugar. There's nothing wrong with bread. But when in an overconsumption state of these pro inflammatory foods, your joints will swell up. You know, they'll get painful. A lot of times, probably 30% of pain that people experience in their joints is from their diet. So, what fasting did for me is it gave me a pro anti inflammatory tool of reducing all inflammation in my body. And so there's other diets and stuff like keto, carnivore, vegan, vegetarian, they can do something similar. But I love the simplicity of fasting. So what fasting would do is, is it would get rid of everything from my body. And then when I would go move and start to get my body, you know, just uh, working out, squatting, I'd feel lighter. I would feel pain, just not in the normal places. Crazy things happen in fasting. There's a lot of scripture even in Isaiah 58 that talks about healing coming when people fast. And so I do believe that it is a powerful tool for healing that God designed for the body. But in partnership with you know going without food for a while to reduce inflammation in my body, I would also start to cut out a lot of these highly inflammatory foods and overconsumption of them. You know, I'd stop eating two or three pizzas every single week. You know, I wouldn't uh, be drinking a ton of food. Um, I would stop smoking so much weed and overeating from the munchies, you know, and I would just let my body uh, start to eat foods of the earth, right? Things like meat, um, you know, fruits, vegetables, dairy, um, you know, and, and whatever, if your body tolerates dairy, not everybody's does, and then lentils and sweet potatoes, some rice, but only when I was looking to gain size and muscle. And I would just basically fast from most of the other foods for the most part, along with doing some extended water fasting and my body would go through an amazing change. My client Benji dropped 40 pounds in the past six months from doing this. Um, I've got a client named Daniel um, who started off as a, he's a lawyer, he was 265 pounds, now weighs about 190 pounds um, from this fasting. So it is amazing for weight loss, but also when you're you know, going through a journey of trying to reduce pain in the body, it can reduce the inflammation a ton in your joints and make your workouts feel a lot better. And you can still work out while fasted as well too. So that started to come into play. So I started to look and see, I'm gonna be healed. And then I started fasting to build my self-control and my discipline. What's great about fasting is if you're two days into a water fast, you're not gonna go kick butt in a workout. So it also humbles you to say, I'm willing to start with just the body weight, 
or I'm willing to start with some stretching. I'm willing to start with the easy stuff because maybe that's all my body can handle right now. And while you let the fast do the work of cleaning out everything to reduce pain in your body and inflammation, you now are much more humble as you come into your workouts. So the third pillar of my system that helped me to be able to squat 360 pounds and that's continuing to go up without pain, full range of motion after my double knee surgery, surgeries would be changing my training. So I started as a power lifter, football guy, heavy, heavy weights, 90 degree squats. This was my go-to. Um, and it would always lead to pain. You know, I would just basically continue to lift heavy until I got hurt. Whether it be deadlifting, I uh, would hurt my lower back. Bench pressing would end up getting my shoulder injured and squatting would end up hurting my knees. It didn't really make much sense, but I would just keep lifting heavy and heavy until I got hurt and then these issues would come up. And so, you know, I mentioned earlier that, you know, I got prayed over and my, my knee pain disappeared. I'd be lying to you if I said that it didn't come back at certain times, right? And here's the deal. If I would have kept training stupid and like just lifting to the point of hurting myself over and over, it doesn't matter if you got the best mindset in the world or you've been prayed over by, you know, whoever uh, and your pains disappeared. It's going to come back because you're being stupid and you're not taking care of the blessing that you've received. So your pain could disappear completely, you know, through your mindset, through your prayer, through your fasting and diet changes. But if you go back and be stupid on your training, it's not going to work very well, right? So I had to find a system of training that worked for me. Um, so I went and like just stopped lifting heavy completely, did a lot of calisthenics based stuff, more yoga, body weight training, gymnastics, uh, even kettlebells that worked really well for a time. But what really did it for me was studying under a guy named Ben Patrick, knees over toes guy. So my wife and I both have gotten certified through his program, ATG for coaches, completely changed my life. I've been training this way for about four years now and training in this longer range of motion with more humility, being able to say, I'm going to start with just my own body weight and, you know, training these unconventional ways with exercises like split squats, poliquin step ups, seated good mornings. Um, what are some other ones? Back extensions, Nordic hamstring curls, reverse Nordics, taking the time to stretch in a couch stretch, um, you know, doing a pigeon and incline piriformis stretches, uh, all of these things that would put me in longer ranges of motion to be able to build more ability. Amazing. And then what's really cool about this ATG style of training too, is they also partner up short range exercises, something like a hamstring curl, the poliquin step up I mentioned beforehand, um, are two really good examples of two short range exercises that I completely neglected. I would never do hamstring curls cause I thought that, uh, you know, machines were stupid. And I didn't even know what a, a Patrick step up was, but when I first did a Patrick and a Poliquin step up, my knee was shaking and quaking because I was only ever used to barbell back squatting, doing leg extensions and leg press. This is a whole new way of training for me that exposed a lot of weaknesses. And so I love ATG training. Uh, if you want to be able to get out of pain, I think it's the best route out there. Get stronger at your split squats, your Nordics, you know, be able to build more hamstring mobility, get your ankles more opened up, build strength in your lower leg and your calves, your tibs, all of this. What's really cool about the ATG stuff is it puts a focus on weak links and building strength through length as well too. So if you're curious on this ATG style of training, you can go through my YouTube here. I've got tons of different exercises that show a lot of those principles, but it looks a little bit different. And here's the deal. The whole entire world is in pain. So you kind of, and they're all training one way, the, the regular way. If you want to get out of pain, your training has to look different. And so for me, I started realizing, well, if I want to be able to squat without pain, I should probably start doing some of these exercises and forget about squatting heavy for a little bit. This is where the discipline that was built through fasting allowed me to be able to say no to something I loved for a little bit, which was lifting heavy and say, I'm going to restart and I'm going to be patient in this process as well too, and not try to rush this too quickly. And so I took about one to two years of really perfecting the ATG movements and reaching the level two standards inside of their system. And by the time I'd finished it, my knees were the best they've ever been. I'm grabbing rim on a basketball hoop and I never had hops before. I'm able to run without pain. Uh, my squat was going up a ton. 
as well too. And then by the time I got back to, or let me rephrase it, by the time I you know, took this like six month or even a year break from, from back squatting, I came back into it and it was like, oh my gosh, I can actually squat without pain. But I had to take a break for it or from it for about a year or six months, however long. It was about six to like six to maybe 18 months in that range. I was just training more body weight, lighter weights, dumbbells, kettlebells. Um, if I did use a barbell, it was very, very light. Um, but just built up strength in these neglected areas, exercises like Jefferson curls, tibialis raises, split squats, QL extensions, back extensions, Romanian deadlifts, um, all of these a little bit more unorthodox exercises, seated calf raises, uh, started to get my body strong in, in weird spots. And so taking the time to build up my weak links in my training, rather than just trying to get strong right away, really blew up my squat and it made it super, super helpful on that one. And so I highly recommend the ATG system for training. It's what I use for all of my clients in person and online because it just works. It looks different, but it works. So in summary, guys, how I went from, you know, double knee surgeries to squatting without pain with full range of motion. Number one is I let my mindset get strong. I focused on that first and foremost. I said, what does it look like for me to be pain free? I painted that picture out. I wrote it down. I spent time journaling, prayed on this, and I held that vision tightly in my hands. Whenever pain would come up, because pain will come up from time to time, I would say, I'm not going to believe this lie. I know there's something better for me in this world. I know I'm ready to be healed and I know I'm going to get healed. And so I wouldn't let doubt come up whenever pain did arise. Because if you let yourself doubt whenever pain comes up, you're never going to get out of pain. You have to be able to experience the pain and still have belief that you are going to be healed. That's the moment when everything changes. So mindset number one, learning to fast. Fasting is so powerful for reducing a lot of inflammation in the body. Um, a lot of this can come through an elimination diet as well too, um, like I mentioned earlier, but just saying, it, to me it's just simple just to say, hey, no food, let me just water fast for a little bit. Number one, it gets me leaner as well too. Um, I feel more disciplined in my mind. It amplifies the mindset and the vision work done beforehand. And it makes, it makes harder decisions easier in my life because I've built up the discipline in there. I know if I can go three days without food, I can take a day without heavy squatting if my knees don't feel like they're gonna you know, want it. Or I can be a better husband, better coach uh, for the people around me. And then number three, got into this ATG style of training, became obsessed with training my weak links and getting stronger through length and getting stronger in the short range exercises to promote more blood flow and healing. That combo of those three things completely changed my life. And so you can go ahead and apply this, like, like what do we do now from here? You can go ahead and apply what I just talked about, but um, I shared at the beginning of the video that I'm gonna be sharing an opportunity with you guys where if you want my help to be able to get out of pain, I'm gonna offer that up to you. So if you're watching this right now, let's say you're a guy under the age of 40, you got knee pain or lower back pain right now that's keeping you from squatting um, without pain in this moment. You wanna be able to have confidence in your body and squat with a full range of motion without any sort of pain. You can go ahead and go down into the description of this video, book a call with the link right there. And what you'll do is you'll answer a few questions to help me to be able to help you better. You and I will hop on a phone call one-on-one -on -one where I'm gonna go ahead and hear you out where you're at learn a little bit about you and give you some support and feedback for what I think will help you out personally. And if it's a good fit, I'll share some details with you on what it looks like to work with me as your coach from anywhere in the world. And so what's really cool is whenever I get the chance to work with people, you know, whether they be in California or Oregon or Colorado or Florida or from DC, anywhere in the country, Whenever I work with people online, these principles work no matter what. Your body starts to be able to get out of pain. We don't have to be in person to be able to start you know, working on this. And what's really cool is you get that extra layer of accountability to be able to have someone there with you through the process, walking you through by the hand. So if you would like to work with me personally as your health coach to be able to get you out of pain, squatting with full range of motion and living your best life, go ahead and book a call with the, uh, with the, the link in the description down there. Uh, and you know, just talking about it a little bit more so as well too, you know, what to do after this video here, 
There's a couple things that you can go ahead and do now that you've learned all of this information. The first thing you could go ahead and do is like I just said, you can say, hey, I, I'm interested in working with Patrick. I'd love to hear a little bit more about what he does and get to know him a little bit more and see what his feedback would be on my personal situation. So you could book that call down below. You end up joining my program and six months from now, you can look back and say, oh my gosh, my body is feeling a lot better. I'm you know, back into playing some basketball or snowboarding or uh, really just even able to just move around without pain and squatting pain free and I'm super, super happy. Second thing that could happen is you say, hey, I'm actually interested in, in working with Patrick. I'm gonna book that phone call down below. You join the program and you completely bomb it and you uh, are in worse pain than before. You don't get you know, out of pain. You're still able to, not able to squat and uh, you know, you're, you're just really mad at your body because it didn't you know, make the changes that you want. If that's the case and you actually put in the work and you're inside of the program, I'll completely refund you the entire program. If you put in the work, you follow the exact blueprint, you follow the coaching, you show up for the coaching calls, and you, you know, are somebody who actually showed up and, and did the dang thing, you get a complete refund. I've got full faith that that is not gonna happen and that you're actually gonna do really, really well. The third thing that could happen from this video is you say, huh, this is a nice video, boop, and you close your phone and you don't go and do anything. Uh, and we don't want that to happen, right? That is probably the worst thing that could happen right now. So if you are wanting some help with your knees, you wanna get out of pain and squat with full range of motion, you can book the call down below. Uh, I guess there is a fourth option there as well too, to where uh, you could say, hey, this was great, but I'm not ready for a coach just yet, or that kind of sounds like a big commitment to work with a coach right now and tackle the, the pain that I'm experiencing at this moment in time. That's totally cool. Fourth option would be you go ahead and just subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Go back and watch all of my old content and my future content as well too in videos that'll be coming up to give you some more information on how you can start to implement this and find out some of the information you're looking for. Gain a little bit more knowledge and readiness on this so that way if you do wanna work together in the future, you'll be a lot more prepped with more information and uh, you'll know a little bit more about my system and how things work and probably have gotten a little bit of progress on your own as well too. And it's just gonna be great. You know, you're gonna be a lot further along. Well, you know, one thing I just even wanna talk about here is, is take a moment to think about what it, would it be like for you to have no pain in your knees, your lower back feeling great, and you can squat with full range of motion and feel really good. You can pick up your nieces and nephews. You know, you can go play your favorite sport again and, and your knees aren't hurting. What would that be like for you? Do you think you'd be a lot more confident? Do you think you'd be a lot more happy in your body? Do you think you'd probably be saving money as well too on future surgeries, um, painkillers, you know, different sorts of um, therapies and physical therapy, whatever it might be uh, on, on the issue that you've already been putting money into, right? What would that actually look like? You know, is that a future that you, you want to live or is that something that doesn't really sound like what you want and you want to stay in pain and uh, you also are tired of this video and, and me cracking jokes and smiling at you and it's starting to get annoying. If that's you, don't worry about it. <laughs> you can go live your best life and I, I, hope, uh, I hope this video helped you at least in some way. But if you just thought about that and you, know, you said, wow, getting out of pain is something that actually is really, really important to me. Go ahead and use that link down in the comments and book a call with me right now. I would love to be able to sit with you one-on-one -on -one and help you to be able to build out some potential solutions to getting out of pain, living your best life, getting in shape, and feeling your absolute best and doing the things that you love each and every single day. But again, this is only for the person who is you know, ready to put in the work. You like to smile and crack jokes too because if it's not fun, we're not doing this thing, right? and you're ready to do this, even if it includes some of the woo-woo mindset stuff and you, know, you gotta do some things that make you uncomfortable and start from scratch you know, and, and start from bedrock and ground zero, but you're willing to build up. If that's you, then this, is, this formula, this program can really, really help you out here, guys. Mindset, fasting, and ATG training changed my entire life. And if you would like help in applying that yourself, I would love to be able to be the guy to support you in that. So 
you can book an absolutely free call with me with the link in the description of this video. And if you do book that call, we'll get the chance to sit down one-on-one -on -one and build out a pain-free blueprint for you and what your process and your roadmap looks like. I'll open up the full curtains on everything that I did, answer any of your questions, and give you the support you need to be able to show up for yourself and get out of pain. So that being said, guys, I appreciate you so much for watching this video. That's been an absolute blessing. Please leave a comment down below if you watched the whole thing and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're ready for more content just like this. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.